Oh, I didn't see you there. My name is Arian Forster, and I will be reading to you my favorite book, Hedging Blast Off by Jan Britt. Hedgy Blast Off by Jan Brett. My name is Hedgy and I want to be an astronaut. I work at the Starlight at the Clean Crew. I've never flown on a spaceship, but I take care of the Ze Zeppa Doppler rocket for the professor, the smartest scientist on Earth. He's in charge of outer space. Today, when I got to work, the professor looked worried. Hedgy, we have a problem. Big sparkler is only sending up weak bursts of sparkles. If it stops altogether, there will be no more big sparkler and no more flowers. Big Sparkler is on the tiny planet of Mikop. Alien tourists love to fly over it to watch it, it erupt and to take pictures of the strange flowers that depend on the sparklers for food. This is an emergency, Hedgy. Call the scientists to the lab. The scientists came in and the professor explained the problem. Big Sparkler is fa failing, he told them. We need to go to Mikop and find out what's wrong. I fly there in the step of Doppler, but it's too big to land on tiny makeup. We need to build a rescue robot and s a small ro rocket to go there. The scientists looked at the drawings on the blackboard and went to work. I tried to help. Soon everything was ready for the launch. Reporters came to hear about the mission. The professor explained, Big Sparkler isn't working properly. First let me show you how it's supposed to work. He put a cork in a bottle of fizzy water. Pretend this is a big sparkler. He shook and shook the bottle until the cork flew out and water soaked the reporters. But now Big Sparkler is sending out fewer and fewer sparks. We n think it may stop altogether, the professor said. How can you find out what is going on, a reporter asked. Meet Rescue Robot, the professor answered. He, he threw open the la latch on the rocket. The pilot's seat was empty. We looked all around the lab. No robot. Then I opened the door to the cleanup crew closet. There it was. In sleeper mode, spikes jammed fast. Rescue Robot had probed too soon, gotten stuck, and crashed. The reporters looked at the professor. The professor looked at me and the rescue robot. Then he whispered in my ear, Hedgy, are you the only one who will fit in the, into the rocket? How would you like to go into outer space? I thought in my head, Yes! The professor turned to the reporters. A little change of plans, he told them. Meet rescue Hedgy. No programming necessi necessary. The professor looked at me. Come back and tell us what you find, Hedgy, and we will fix the problems. Zoom! Tiny planet hit Mikup got larger and larger before my eyes. The engines roared as the rocket settled onto Mikup's surface. I climbed out of the hat la latch. Big Sparkler's crater was in front of me. The flower circling it, it had turned into little gray puffballs. Suddenly I was started by a low flying saucer. It buzzed down just as a big sparkler struggled to er erupt. A thin stream of glittery sparkles sifted through the air and dusted the passing ship. The tourists inside shrieked and threw things out their portholes and into the crater. <sighs> More squeals. Then I saw what was falling into the crater. Coins! I walked over and looked down. So that's what was wrong. Too many coins from all over the galaxy were filling up the big sparkler. It needs to be cleaned out. I wanted to fix big sparkler for the pre professor being before going home, but how could I drag all these years of coins out of the crater? It was impossible for one small hedgehog. Then I remembered the bottle of fizzy water and the cork. What if I became the cork for Big Sparkler? One small hedgehog might just be perfect for the job. I took a big jump before I was too scared. I landed in the opening and puffed up my pickles to stop it from up completely. I told myself I just hold fast with every pickle. I felt big sparkler pushing against me. The more it pushed, the tighter I held on. Hold fast, hold fast, hold fast. Kaboom! Count to three and lift up. Big sparkler erupted with a tremendous roar. I flew up. And landed in a soft pile of sparkles. Giant flowers came alive right before my eyes. I raced back to the rocket and took off from my home. I was making a victory orbit around Mikop when I saw the alien Taurus. They were qu squealing with joy. Instead of throwing good luck coins to a big sparkler, they were trying to catch and flying through our space. I hope it takes years for them to collect all these coins. 
Back at the Star Lab, I was in for another surprise. I stood beside the professor and as he said a few words to the reporters. Please, meet our first Hedgehog astronaut. The scientists at Star Lab proudly present Hedgie with the official astronaut star for his courage and cool thinking. I was an astronaut. The professor was in Star Lab grateful to everyone who worked to save Mikop and Big Sparkler from astronaut from astronaut first class Hedgie to our new high tech keynote to three cheers for Hedgie hooray and that is my favorite book Hedgie Blastoff by Jen Brent